All right, one of the great things about this varnish is this varnish dries in about 30 minutes. We're going to come back, coat the body, coat a thread. On this one, I'm going to put some kind of chartreuse or yellow. I think we'll go with yellow. This is more of a yellow than chartreuse. Go with some rubber legs that are like this. We're going to bring it in here, bind it down, a couple wraps here, then pull it back once you have it caught and put a couple soft wraps and then you pull down and make them bind. Now what I've done here is I had two legs together so now I'm going to peel them apart and we're going to make four this way. You can leave them together until the end if you want to, or you can go ahead and strip them out like this. All right, now I'm going to use a variegated chenille. top of the hook, catch it with a soft loop like that, and bind it down good. If there's a tail sticking up, you catch that and go ahead and bind that on down to the hook. Now right in this area, you really need to go ahead and put a drop of head cement in. I'm going to put a little drop here and a drop right in there. I want to bind those wraps that are on top of the rubber. A lot of people don't do that and a lot of people don't double these. If you don't double these, then what happens is the, the fish will come up and pull on them and actually just pull the rubber legs right out. So really, you always should double your double your rubber legs around the hook, I, I mean around the uh, tying thread, and then pull them back like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and wind forward and the neat thing on the popper is you have the hook sticking out so we can just kind of come and loop that to get it out of the way. Come back here. I'm going to back my thread up now. Turn that off clean. Okay, go ahead and bind that down. Now, when I use green and yellow, I generally prefer a black hackle feather almost over any other variety. Um, it's a pretty good sized bug we're working on right here, so I want a good size tackle. Now on a popping bug, we're not as concerned about, you know, when you make a dry fly, you want only the barbs with no webbing. It's okay to have a little webbing a little bit when you're making a popping bug, because this, this fly is going to get wet, but it's still going to float, so it's a good place for you to use some of those feathers that you really don't feel like you could really use on your dry flies and really aren't quite what you want for a, uh, a bugger or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and clean that off like that. Now, I like to put into these wraps a spot of head cement right here. Okay. What that does, it gives the fibers of the hackle something to bind to, and it'll make your hackle stand much better. As you notice, when I was refurbishing this to begin with by cutting all that old hackle off, you saw how that old hackle just fell right off. It's because it really wasn't ever glued to the hook or varnished in or anything. Okay, come here. I'm going to do this again. Loop around the front this way. Now I like to take a couple of wraps this way and then wrap back through it and then wrap back this way. Instead of just being flat this way, it gives it a more brushy appearance when you do that. Then put a couple right in behind the head that way. Back up your tying thread, loop it over. Come in here and catch it like that. Like that. Like that. Now I'm going to go in here and 
do my whip finish. The way you do that is you pull it up underneath it, and then you dive down this way, twist it that way, twist it, pull it right behind the hook, the uh, head like that. Four or five good wraps, bind it down. Come in, slide your scissors right up against the base, nip it out like that. And when you're through, what I like to do here is pull these fibers back. And we're going to put one more drop, this time a pretty good drop of head cement, right on those finished wraps. So we're going to just put it right in like that and let it run in. You want to pull the hackles back because you don't want to get that stuff all in your hackles. Now this is an old cork popper. It had had a rubber leg through it here, so we're going to try to back, go back and reuse that same old hole. What I'm doing here is I'm using a uh, needle to just go retrace the steps of that old rubber leg that was in there. I'm using a long needle threader, and sometimes this is a little tough. You got to get in here where you can really see what you're doing the long needle threader through and I take the long needle threaders like this and I cement them into a cork so they're very light and they don't want to come flying out of the out of the uh, needle if you use a uh, bobbin thread or something like that the weight of it will pull them right out so that's really not a good option now I'm going to stay with the same color rubber legs. What I'm going to do here is take one that's a little longer, nice long one like this, and you want to look at it this way and double it, okay? So, yeah, at least double it like that. We're going to put that through the needle threader, just catch it in the tip of the needle threader, and pull it up here, and we're going to work it really easy or, or the rubber will break. Rubber may break as I'm showing this to you. If it does, we'll just do it again. I actually do this with a couple of different size um, needles. Uh, this one I'm using is a sewing machine needle. And sometimes, if you use the wrong one, you can't quite get it through there. But sometimes we're better to use a regular needle with a long eye. So I'll put the regular needle back through. The needle, the uh, sewing machine needle is good at opening up the initial hole. Alright, let's try this again. Now we're going to take it here and wiggle it like that and pull it through. Now, this way, we've doubled the rubber leg we're going to catch it on the other side with your forceps. And pull it straight through. Now when you get it to the edge here, we're going to work it really slow. If you're not if you go too fast, you'll break the rubber off. You want to go nice and slow and let it stretch its way through. scissors, split that, pull it out like that, and there you have it, a very nice reproduced popping bug. If I were going to do anything else to this bug, I might uh, put some gold spots in the belly, come back and put some black eyes on the, on the belly as well, but there's a good refurbished fly.